Yeah, some days I feel unfazed Like when I'm with my friends with a cup raised hey. And on Monday, I got a gun raised Suicidal, do a dime till hump day Then I go right back at it like an automatic More drinks, more songs, more beats to rap I need a shrink, I'm gone More time keeps passing, no watch, no thoughts at all Just a hat, new era Wet my P's and those O's Need a Phillies when I'm orange or black to feel home From Citizens Bank back to Camden Yard Just a tale of two cities and trust we go hard Trust we go hard, yes we go hard You said we go hard, I said we go hard Rockin' my Bob Cousy, stockin' up on the loose Did the lyrics come easy, but the life is a doozy And yes, I'm choosy, and no, I won't settle But I still take pop off over that kettle Cause I'm talking bigger picture, and yes, I'm gonna hit you with the... On the radar, Lime Scooter Riders, clocked doing more than double the limit. There's one speed, <laughs> and that's flat out. If there's one skill that all Australians are gifted with at birth, it would have to be the ability to misuse motorised vehicles. From cars, motorbikes, boats, jet skis, lawn mowers, homemade custom jobs, and pretty much anything and everything in between, as long as it has a throttle and some sort of steering mechanism, us Australians will find a way to misuse it. Now unfortunately for us, for at least the last 50 or so years, the government and police have been on to us. Meaning that there's a whole bunch of laws, licenses and regulations that you have to follow, and if you don't, you're in big trouble. But over the last 10 to 15 years, there's been a new thing that's popped up on the market. And that of course, is the electric scooter. Now back in the day, electric scooters weren't very popular due to the fact that they took 40 days and 40 nights just to charge up the full battery, which would only last for about five minutes anyway. And combine that with the top speed of walking pace, you may as well just buy a push bike. But in the last five to 10 years, technology has greatly advanced. And that has been a especially true with the battery and motor industry. You see, these days you can buy an electric scooter off the shelf that is well capable of doing over 100 kilometers an hour. And what that basically means is that you've got a vehicle that can travel as fast as a car, squeeze between lanes of traffic with ease, and best of all, you don't need a license or registration to drive it on public roads. Now for the record, I do not condone any of this behavior, but due to the fact that the majority of Australia's population couldn't give a sh** about what I've got to say, I thought I may as well make a video about all the shenanigans people get up to on electric scooters, and together we can laugh at the idiots behind the handlebars. Anyway, that's enough waffle from me, let's get into it. First up, we'll get into the misuse category, starting off with riding them in places where they shouldn't be ridden. Now what you're looking at here is a man riding his e-scooter on the east link. Now when it comes to getting around paying tolls, I'm all for it, but there's better ways to do it than doing this. Now for those of you who don't know, the East Link is a freeway, and the speed limit on most sections of this freeway is 100 kilometers an hour. Now I'm no mathematician, but I'm still gonna run the numbers on this. A quick Google search shows that the top legal speed of an e-scooter is 25 kilometers an hour. So if we get 100 and divide it by 25, that leaves us with four. Now combine the fact that his top speed is only a quarter of the speed limit and he's riding his scooter through a dark tunnel, the fact that this bloke lived to tell the tale is nothing short of a miracle. But it gets better than that because a few years earlier, someone else took their own e-scooter down the same freeway. But instead of doing it in the middle of the peak hour rush like our mate we just talked about, he decided to do it at about 4.30 in the morning. But in the end, they both pretty much ended up with the same outcome. And that being the Vic Road Sprinter van hot on their heels. Now due to the uniquely small size of these e-scooters, the freeway isn't the only place you'll see them being ridden illegally. Because they're so compact compared to something like a bike or a car, wherever a human can fit, an e-scooter can fit as well. Now I haven't got all day to sit here and list off every single place that you can illegally ride an e-scooter, but some of the more popular ones include places like shopping centres, playgrounds, and in and around public transport, all of which usually end up in someone getting absolutely sh** mixed. All right. Right, before we get into our next section, I've got a question for you guys, and if you get it wrong, you have to hit that subscribe button. Alright, what is the legal BAC limit to ride an e-scooter in the state of Victoria? The answer to that question is 0.05, just like driving a car. You didn't know that? 
Me neither. And the same goes for about 90% of the Australian population. But that's not even the best part. For P platers and L platers, the limit is zero. And if you get caught by the police over this limit, the penalties and demerit points go against your car license. Now these rules were brought in thanks to people in places like the CBD and Chapel Street, riding them home with a BAC so high that their breath is basically flammable, subsequently resulting in them crashing into poles, pedestrians, the curb, and each other, resulting in many hospital visits and a few missing teeth. Now obviously when e-scooters first came to Australia, the government realised that this was a bit of a problem. So just like cars, motorbikes and defecating on the footpath, they had to bring in all these new laws and regulations. You see, unlike cars and motorbikes, electric scooters don't require a licence or number plates. And unlike defecating on the footpath, it's much harder to get a DNA sample. So due to the fact that the only real way to get in trouble when doing anything illegal on an e-scooter is to be caught red-handed, the best way to get away is to f***ing leg it. And due to the fact that most privately owned e-scooters are more than capable of doing over the legal limit of 25 k's an hour, for the majority of e-scooter riders, that's probably the best option. Now some of you may be thinking, what sort of crimes can you even commit on an e-scooter? Well besides drink driving that we've already mentioned, you can also run red lights, speed, perform a hit and run, and don't forget that they're very easy to steal and make great getaway vehicles. Alright, for the rest of this video we're going to be focusing on rental e-scooters like Lime and Neuron. Unfortunately, unlike privately owned e-scooters, these rental e-scooters are limited to usually about 24 kilometers an hour. Now you may think that these low top speeds really inhibits the ability to commit crimes on these e-scooters, but that is where you're wrong. And that is thanks to something that we've touched on before on this channel, the not my problem for philosophy. You see, privately owned e-scooters can cost well into the thousands of dollars, but rental e-scooters usually only cost a dollar to unlock and then 50 cents for each minute you actually ride it for. And due to the fact that you don't own it and don't have to pay the repair bill, the possibilities are endless. Now if you've watched my video on O-Bike, you'll know exactly where this is going. And by that, I mean the Yarra River. Now you may also remember from my O-Bike video that this guy got his own hook and rope and went fishing for O-Bikes. Well, believe it or not, as I've already mentioned, these e-scooters are both lighter and smaller than the O-Bikes, making it far easier for the general population to throw into their waterway of choice. Now while this guy did go fishing for e-scooters in Melbourne's Yarra River and was quite successful in his hunt, unlike O-Bike which was only available in Melbourne and Sydney, these rental e-scooters are available under different companies and brands in every single major city all across Australia. And you won't need a degree in rocket surgery to know what that means. And due to the simple fact that it'd be rude not to, here's a small montage of some of Australia's greatest e-scooter mistreatment. Alright, with that out of the way, it's time to wrap things up. E-scooters can be very fun and very practical, but just like alcohol, it's all fun and games until you wake up in hospital. I do in fact own my own personal e-scooter, and it is a lot of fun. But it's always important to remember that if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. So on that bombshell, it's time to end. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you'd like to hear more teachings from the prophet of Yorak Hunt. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, make sure to comment My name is Jeff. to let me know.